Hey, it's Chris, uh, Beer Town Austin. Welcome to another episode of Over a Pint. I'm here with the uh, Black Star Co-op in their offices. Um, here's Steve Yart, the founder. Uh, Corinne Dornbaum, she's the build-out manager. And Jeff Young, the brewer. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Oh, look at that baby glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have huge hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is what we're drinking. It's real good. Uh, provided by Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Welcome. Or I guess by you. Yeah. <laughs> by this refrigerator behind me. <laughs> so, uh, on to some content. Hey, uh, yeah, Steve, you want to tell me a little bit about the history of Black Star? Sure. And maybe, um, you know, a lot of people are wondering, you know, how does, uh, you know, brew pub co-op work? So maybe kind of get into that a little bit. That'd be real cool. Yeah, well, we've been... Uh, working almost exactly four years to the day now um, on this project. Uh, and so far as we know, this is the world's first uh, cooperatively owned brew pub. We started um, on January 18th in 2006 with mm -hmm. a meeting. And that meeting was called by me. My idea was to have a, a beer bar that was owned by the regulars. Mm -hmm. uh, that was kind of just as far as I'd really gotten with the vision. And then at that first meeting, Jeff showed up, and um, and another so much guy. Right in heaven. Another <laughs> guy who was uh, Our eyes met. The stars from. Uh, <laughs> sorry, <come on. laughs> well, I was only a third of it there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the other third was uh, Johnny Livesey, who was uh, on the board at Wheatsville Co-op. Mm -hmm. And so I, I said, Hey, here's this idea I have for a bar that's owned by the regulars, and. Um, John, uh, Jeff was like, well, you know, we really should be more than just a bar. It should be a, a brew pub. Oh, and by the way, I'm a specially trained idea. brewer. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Johnny says, uh, but here's what, how the cooperative legal structure works, and this is going to be the avenue by which you're going to be able to create what you're, what you're talking about. Uh, so that was, that was January 06. We spent several months... Um, you know, doing the articles and the bylaws and really mm -hmm. hashing out the structure of the organization and got that together and incorporated in April. Mm -hmm. um, and since then, we have been building the membership, which uh, who actually own the business. And you guys are about 12,000. 1,200. 12,000 one day. But, uh, uh, <coughs> yeah, just over uh, about 1,250, just over 1,250 okay. right now. And... Each of those people all have one share of the business, essentially. And these are member owners, right? Member owners. Okay. That's, yeah, we, uh, we try, to, try to always put those two together. Right. Um, and so we've been building that over the time period, and we've spent a long time looking for our location. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm happy to say that we've had both of those things come together. Yeah, that's uh, location and things coming together. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So now we are, uh, we have this office we're in. This is mm -hmm. just across the street from our, our future brew pub, and we're right there. Mm -hmm. we are uh, finalizing all the design of the architecture and engineering. Mm -hmm. That's what Corinne's doing. Um, we're continuing to grow the membership and then mm -hmm. uh, solicit um, preferred share investments from the current members, uh, raise the money, and they, uh, the plan is that we'll start construction in about a month and have the. Um, the restaurant open sometime. So a month somewhere. would be mid February. Mid February. Mid February. Yeah. yeah. And production would be in. Uh, you said it. As, in the summer, you know, mid mid, mid summer, summer or June is kind of where our our target is. I guess in, in Austin that's early summer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be 100 degrees in October. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I think the other thing a lot of people are wondering about is the actual beer. And um, well, first, why don't you start out telling us why we're drinking this right now instead of the Black Star? beer and then maybe go into a little bit about <clears throat> yeah well naturally since we are not licensed as a brew pub yet um, we cannot uh, legally produce any of our own beers and even as you know a home brewer um, to be able to, to home brew a beer and bring it in for kind of commercial purposes is is highly frowned upon yeah. <laughs> um, so that said uh, you know we have our recipes and, and we played around with them as a, as a home brewer for uh, a couple years, two or three years. So, you know, in addition to that, we also have commercial beers that we're going to be having at the brew pub too. And, and you know, we're definitely going to be highlighting uh, a lot of the uh, local beers, but there's cool beers all over the world. And yeah. um, 
So, you know, for example, Delirium yeah. Noel is a, yeah, that's a, I got that for my 30th birthday, so uh, <laughs> it's kind of bittersweet, thank you. Um, and then Allagash Interlude, which we haven't tapped into yet, but. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Good. Uh, so yeah, so that's why we're drinking uh, non-Black Star beers, but in the next six months we'll have Black Star beers. Which is also why if you go to the, um, the socials, if you're drinking something, you know, from Live Oak, from North Northwest. Mm -hmm. Right. Phoenix. And it works out fine because, you know, we, we, we certainly love all these other breweries and, and they have given us so much support that uh, we love supporting them too and, and we plan to continue to support them once we're open. Right. So tell me, you've got currently two types of beer, or I guess categories. You have the irrational and the rational. If you want to go into, I guess, the difference and maybe some of the ones you're looking forward to? Yeah, so that's the most uh, general categorization for us is rational and irrational, and mm -hmm. uh, within that are, are certain subsets of other beers, and uh, man, that just got dorky fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, subsets of other beers. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I was a math major in, in college, and uh, I still like to uh, whip out some math yeah. when I can, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dork it up a little bit. Dabble in it. <laughs> uh, so the rational beers... Um, are basically the ones, and I think Stephen probably put it best, that they, they can be constructed by um, known ingredients and, and the product of that construction is uh, almost expected. You know, mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, you, you put in some molasses, you put in some roasted malt uh, and, and some English style hops and then you get Lecalcerton dock hand. So it's, that's the kind of rationality um, behind that set. As opposed to the irrational set, where there's usually kind of like an X factor, you know, there's something mm -hmm. that you put in there and it's kind of has a, a, a life of its own and, and becomes a little more interesting because it's maybe always a little bit different or, you know, just has some different characteristic about that. And then, you know, in addition to that, we're going to have subsets of those where, um, like, for example, the Infinite series are, are uh, uh, oak barrel aged beers you know mm -hmm. so on special occasions we'll, we'll get some oak barrels and oh, put some exciting. different beers in it yeah, yeah and you know now we'll, that's a the infinite series uh what's the joke for that one the uh the infinite series they always converge <laughs> on deliciousness <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh that's good well, that's cool. good and that's you guys are going to be pairing yeah. beer with food and then if it's a brew pub and mm -hmm. yeah so we have um uh we have a full kitchen and we'll be serving in both um, lunch and dinner, and then weekends we'll have brunch service as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, the kitchen menu is going to be mostly on the mimicking the rational irrational split. So all our stuff that's kind of year round and um, relatively standard ingredients will be our, our rational series. And uh, while we're going to try to highlight local producers as much as possible, we are going to have the real seasonal one-off kinds of items, entrees, that will be our irrational menus. And most of those are also going to try to integrate whatever is seasonal um, from Jeff and the brewery. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's just um, salad dressing with Waterloo or um, a glaze made with a sausage and dock hand or something like that. Yeah, yeah, not just uh, integrating the, the beers into the recipe, but also getting down to the fundamental um, flavors of the beers and then the fundamental flavors of, of the food. So if you have something like a and dock hand that has uh, notes of vanilla in it, then you know you might want to incorporate some sort of vanilla in the in the food itself, mm -hmm. uh, and that's something that I'm learning a lot about with our our, our chefs in the kitchen. You know, they know a lot yeah. about the uh, science and uh, uh, theory behind the cooking side of things, and we're trying to learn from each other to be able to uh, kind of unify some of the flavors. Yeah, and that's one of the cool advantages you guys have being a brew pub as opposed to regular production breweries you can you know mm -hmm. mix and match those things and you know i guess like enhance the taste of the beers and bring other things out with the yeah. foods so that's cool yeah and i mean even more of a, an advantage is uh since it's so small scale we can throw it out too if it sucks you know yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. invested in labels and bottles right and right <laughs> Yeah, cool. And so you guys are also going to have some, I guess, some taps. You said what, uh, twenty taps for, for focusing on, on local stuff. Also, you know, some other interesting things, and also a beer cellar, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool mm -hmm. as well. Well, cool. Um, thanks a lot, guys. It's been fun. Um, Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. And, uh, cheers. Next time we'll drink some Black Star beers and.
come out um, in the summertime and you know hang out on the patio and eat, drink, Absolutely. start show up. It's a plan. Yeah. All right. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Yeah.